certain details. But I want state-wise population. How to get state-wise population? Select what? Select state comma counter. Select state comma counter as count from persons. Next group by what set state group by state so this gives state wise population ap state what is the population ts state what is the population all the states <clears throat> but he's not interested in all the states he's interested in what uh, tell me how only south states then where condition where condition where uh, what state in ap ts k kl ts <clears throat> Okay, na? then so state in a p t s k a k l t n. So what this calculates? This calculates only south states. Okay, na? because he's asking only southern states. But in southern states also, what what he wants? In south states, more than five crore population, and then having having what having count star greater than 5 crores how to write 5 crores okay na you have to write like this <coughs> that's <all. okay then <clears throat> so these two examples what how to use where and have it okay then <clears throat> it also execution is same first it go to what person table. from person table what are selected who are selected if person state equal to what a p t s k a k l t n selected <clears throat> then how many persons are selected? We don't. How many persons are selected? We don't know. Don't say five. Five is not persons. Five is states. In one state, like you take AP. Maybe AP is having five crore population. That means in AP state, how many persons are there? Five crore. So this selects five crores. T is what? Three crores. Assume like that. So five plus eight, eight crores. Like that. So these those many persons are selected. Okay, na? Then now grouping is based on what state. 
how many states are created five five groups how many groups are created five groups ap becomes one group ts becomes one group k becomes one group kl becomes one five groups so each group contains how many rows ap group ap group contains how many rows number of persons how many population ap contains 5 crore population or 6 crores population that means ap group contains how many persons 6 crores ts contains 4 crores suppose assume ts group contains how many 4 crores ka contains 8 crores like like that so each group contains number of persons and it go to the first group ap group checks condition true or false in ap group what is the population in ap group 6 crores condition true yes ap is selected ts population is 4 crores condition false not selected k group selected kl not selected tn selected so how many are selected 3 ap ts tn okay na then and from each group what it displays state and what's that count star state and count star that's all so these two examples okay these two examples like in these two examples we are using what's that both where and having <clears throat> then so what you have to find out like whether we can apply this condition before group by if we can apply this condition before group by then use what where class but you can't apply this condition before group by you must apply this condition what after group by because sql server uh, calculate the count only after group by so it can apply this condition only after group by then use what having class use having class that's all <coughs> clear then <Done>. okay <coughs> next like uh, you you try some questions based on this persons table one is what display what's that display what state wise population already you written next one display what gender wise population display age group wise population display state wise population display gender wise population display age group wise population age group means 1 to 20 1 to 18 1 to 17 na how many so 18 to what 18 to suppose 30 or 40 how many 40 to 60 how many age group 40 to 60 how many above 60 how many above 60 how many 1 to 17 how many 18 to 40 how many 40 to 60 how many above 60 how many <clears throat> okay na no? you you try this first two are simple because you already know state wise population gender wise population state wise population means <coughs> group by <coughs> state gender wise population means group by gender okay na age group wise population okay that's all you try this then next but if you see the previous examples you see the previous examples in all the previous examples okay in all these examples grouping is based on how many fields huh? first one first one grouping is based on how many fields one field grouping is based on what department number in this example grouping is based on what job your grouping is based on what month grouping is based on year 
grouping is based on day of the week uh, yes or no so grouping is based on state in all these examples grouping is based on how many fields one field either job department number state like that grouping is based on one sometimes you want to group the records based on two fields you want to group the records based on what two fields like uh, suppose for example sir if i say group by department number if i if i say group by department number then tell me how the groups are created how many groups are created boss <clears throat> after giving these many examples then <clears throat> so then if i say group by department number if i say group by department number how many groups are created hmm? <clears throat> how many groups are created three groups one group is 10 one group is 20 one group is 30 how many groups are created three groups okay then so what is i'll write like this department number comma job if i write like this then if i write sir if i write like this you know how grouping is grouping is based on department 10th becomes one group 20 becomes one group 30 becomes one group so if i say group by department number comma job then if i say group by department number comma job then first grouping is based on department within the department grouping is based on job so you see that 10th department becomes one group 10th becomes one group within 10 so what's that like uh, you you take what within the 10th department then within the 10th department so clerk becomes one group within the 10th department clerk becomes one group how many clerks how many clerks one clerk one clerk what is the salary okay na then 14 30 so one one clerk next one 10th department managers how many managers are there 10th department how many managers are there one manager next one 20th okay manager president how many presidents are there one president so total how many groups are created in 10th department so 10th department is one group bus within the 10th department how many groups are created three groups 20 becomes one group 20 becomes one group in 20 what are the jobs analyst analyst becomes one group how many analysts are there two analysts this is one analyst this is one analyst there are two analysts Uh, next clerks how many clerks are there two clerks manager how many managers are there one manager so analyst becomes one group and clerk becomes one group manager becomes one group so in 20th how many groups are created three groups and 30th so 30th so how many clerks in 30th okay then one clerk one clerk clerk is one group how many managers one manager next one salesman how many salesmans four salesmans this four in 30th also how many groups are created three groups <clears throat> what are the main groups 10 20 30 within 10 within 10 how many groups are created three groups within 20 three groups within 30 three groups so if you say group apartment group by department number comma job means groups are created like this sir if you say only department number then if you say only department number 10th becomes one group 20 becomes one group 30 becomes one group if you say department number comma job 10th becomes one group within 10 grouping is based on what job within 10 grouping is based on job like this so then now grouping based on multiple columns okay then so what is grouping based on what multiple columns
okay so display what display what department wise and within department display department wise within department what's it job wise uh, total salary like what is my question is department wise earlier we calculated department wise total salary now what do you want to calculate department wise within department job wise total salary Okay, then <clears throat> so department wise within the department what's it job wise total salary now so like this what how to write this you have to write like this select what one second select what then oh, select department number comma job comma what i'm asking total salary then sum of salary as total salary from what emp group by what department number comma job so group by department number comma job grouping is based on what's it department number comma job then so first grouping is based on department within the department grouping is based on job run this query okay then understood now but here once again it's it's giving the correct output but it's not sorted it's not sorted 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 then order by department number ascending order by department number ascending sorting based on department first it will show 10 next it will show 20 next it will show 30 you see that 10th department 10th department okay na? Listen, listen, 10th department. 10th department becomes what? 10th department. Clerk becomes one group. How many clerks are there? One clerk. But the total salary paid to that clerk is 1430. Next, manager becomes one group. How many managers? One manager. What is the total salary? 2695. President becomes one group. How many total salary? 5000. 20th analyst. How many employees are there? Two. Two analysts. What is the total salary paid to the two analysts? Six of them. Three, four, five, zero, three, four, five, zero. There are two employees now. One employee, three, four, five, zero. One employee, three, four, five, zero. What is the total salary? Six thousand nine hundred. Next one. Clerks. How many clerks? Two clerks. One is eleven hundred. Like uh, two, one, eight, five. <coughs> Next one. Managers. Clerks. Salesmen. How many salesmen are there? Four. What is the total salary paid to that salesman? So 6720. That's all. What this query gives? This query is giving what's it? What this query gives? Department wise, within the department, job wise, total salary. That's all. Let me then. <clears throat> Then, <clears throat> so 
so that's all this is grouping based on two columns so first grouping is based on department within the department grouping based on job then <clears throat> now so okay we'll write one more next we go to another one okay then <clears throat> So this is the output. If you want output, then this is the output you'll get. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Next. So suppose display what year wise and within year quarter wise number of employees joined. Year wise within year quarter wise number of employees joined. I want to find the number of employees, but we want to calculate year wise, quarter wise, within the year, quarter wise. Then, <clears throat> oh. means I want output to be like this 1980, first quarter, how many? Second quarter, how many? Third quarter, how many? Fourth quarter, how many? First quarter, second quarter, fourth quarter, how many? 1981. First quarter, how many? Second quarter, how many? Third quarter, how many? Like this. I want to calculate this one. Year wise, within year, quarter wise. Same like previous, department wise, within the department, job wise, but year wise, quarter wise. Like you have to find out how to get the year, how to get the quarter. You know how to get the year, how to get the quarter. Yes or no? Ah. <clears throat> ah, so. Ah, tell me how to write this. Ah, select what? Not I date bus. Please, I date means whenever I say year, quarter, month, don't say I date. I date not only contains year, it contains day, month also. And then, but he's asking year wise, then how to get the year? Date part yy, comma, I date as year, comma, next one. Uh, what is the next? Date part what? Q, Q, comma, I date as quarter, as quarter. Uh, what do you want to calculate? Number of employees, counts are as count from table name is EMP. Grouping is based on what? You see that first grouping is based on year. Within year, grouping is based on quarter. Uh, first group by what? Date part y y comma y y comma height date comma date part q q comma height date that's all. first grouping is based on year within year grouping is based on quarter 1981 becomes one group within 1981 in 1981 january to march becomes one group april to june becomes one group July to August becomes September becomes one group. October, November, December becomes one group. So because within year grouping is based on quarter. Okay. I want to sort it. Then what order by? 
वन वन मीन्स वन मीन्स I say order by one, or you can say order by year. What is year? This one, this one, order by one. If you say one means first column. In select, what is the first column? One means first column, boss. First column. What is the first column? Year. So you can use column number also. So first sorting is based on one. One means first column. Okay. Ah, uh, now run this query. Run this query. What this query gives? This query gives what? Nineteen eighty fourth quarter one. Nineteen eighty one first quarter two second quarter three third quarter two. Nineteen eighty one fourth quarter three eighty two one eighty two four eighty three one. So what it is showing? Year wise within a year. Quarter-wise, that's all. <clears throat> so previous examples grouping is based on single last two examples grouping based on what two grouping based on department number comma job your grouping is based on year comma quarter okay like that grouping can be based on three columns also grouping can be based on what three Nineteen. Oh. Hmm. Okay. But you have to use conditions. You have to write like this. Okay. <clears throat> Then, so, but here, how we are displaying the data? How we are showing the output? This is the query. You are running the query, then showing the output. But how the output is displayed? Here showing the output in rows and columns. Output output is displayed in what rows and columns. But user is asking this. User want the output to be like this, not like this, not in this form. He wanted like this. What what he wants? Like uh, he wants something like this. Ah, so he wants something like this. Then this is nineteen eighty, yeah, nineteen eighty, nineteen eighty. Then first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. How many? This is first quarter. 
1982nd quarter, 1983rd quarter, 1984th quarter. 1980 is completed. What is the next one? 19, what's it? 81. 1981. 1981 first quarter, how many are joined? 1981 second quarter, how many are joined? 1981 third quarter, how many are joined? Fourth quarter, how many join? Like this. I want the output to be like this. What is this is called? This is called graph. This is called graphs. In SQL, you are presenting the data in what text, text form, like rows and columns. But user want output to be like this, graphical form or something like this. What, what do you want? You want something like this. You want like this, pie chart. So if you want to present data like this, end users, they wanted to see the data like this. If you show that data like this, they can easily understand the data. Instead of showing the data in text form, if you present data like this, they can easily understand. What is this is, they're called graphs and charts. Then how to display the data? By using some tools called data visualization tools. Example, what? Power BI, next one, Tableau, like this. Sir, anything you see like this, anything you see like this, charts, graphs, background is grouped by query. Anything you see in this form, but background is what's it? Group by. Okay, then. So that Power BI Tableau, what they take? Summarized data. They take the summarized data. So the select statement gives summarized data. That summarized data is displayed in what's it? Graphs and charts. Okay, then. <clears throat> okay. But suppose you see the previous example, this one. You see this example, department-wise, job-wise. You see this example, department-wise, job-wise. Okay, then. So, now. But after completing 10th department, after completing 10th department, I want to show the subtotal. After 10th completed, now. After completing the 10th department, I want to show the subtotal. I want to show the subtotal. What is the subtotal? 5,500 plus 2,695 plus 1,430. I want to show the subtotal. After completing 20th, I want to show the subtotal. After completing 30th, I want to show the subtotal. Finally, I want to show the grand total. Once all the departments are completed, I want to show the grand total. That means in this output, I want to show subtotals and what grand total. After completing 10, I want to show the subtotals. After completing 20, I want to show the subtotals. After completing 30, I want to show the subtotals. Finally, I want to show the grand total. So in this output, if you want to show the subtotals and grand total, SQL server is given two functions. One is what? Roll up. And what's her queue? SQL server is given two functions, roll up and queue. Got it then. So what for these two functions? What for these two functions? Simple. Answer is simple. What? Okay, now. To display subtotals and grand total. That's all. What is the purpose? To display subtotals and grand total. In the group by output, you want to show the subtotals and grand total, then use roll up and queue. Like both, both functions are used to display, to display subtotals and what's that? Grand total. <coughs> Both functions are used to display 
subtotals and grand total. Okay. <clears throat> oh. But there is a small difference. We'll see the difference. Same, both are same, but there is a small difference between roll up and queue. But how to use this? What is the syntax is? Syntax is this. What is group by? What's that? Roll up, column one, column two. Next one. Group by what? Q, column one, column two, so on. Not only two columns. You can apply this on multiple. Okay, then. So, like group by, okay, group by is displaying the uh, department wise, job wise, total salary, but in that output, you want to show the subtotals and grand total, then we use what? Roll up and queue. Okay. Then first we'll see roll up. Next we'll see queue. Then. So first we'll see the roll up. Okay. Sir, here before going to give the definition, first I'll run the query, show the output. First I'll run the query. What is the query? This is the query. This is the actual query, but so this is the query, but in this, what do you want to show? Subtotals and grand total. So use what? Roll up. Let's, let's use roll up. I want to use roll up. Ah, how to use roll up? That's all here. I give in the syntax bars. Group by roll up. Yes. Ah, then in group by apply what roll up group by roll up okay then so it creates groups group by create the group for each group it calculates what group by is create the groups for each group it calculates what subtotal roll up will calculate subtotals for each group let me run this query what is 33411 33,411 grand total. Next one. What is this 10th department? 9,625. 10th department subtotal. 20th, 12,506. 12, 20th department subtotal. 30th, 11,280. That is subtotal. 30th department subtotal. Next one. 33,411. This is grand total this is department subtotal this is department subtotal this is department subtotal so what it is showing it is showing what's that it is showing department wise subtotals and also showing what grand total understood ah that is the only difference between with roll up and without roll up without roll up if you don't apply the roll up it will not show this grand totals and subtotals. Now, if you apply this roll up, it will show this grand totals and subtotals also. Okay. Uh, now, how you define the roll up? How you define the roll up? You see the output and give the definition. Roll up calculates, roll up displays, roll up displays what? subtotals for each group 10th department is one group 20th is one group 30th is one group for each group it is calculating what subtotal and also calculating what grand total understood that so roll up like roll up displays subtotals for each group and also displays grand total That's all. Now you get the subtotal by adding the values. 
Oh. Okay, roll up displays subtotals for each group and also displays what grand total. Okay, then. <clears throat> so displays subtotals for each group and also displays grand total. <clears throat> Now, so this is the query, but we get the output. We'll get the output like this. This time, copying this. Okay. <clears throat> if you want to write this, write it, otherwise leave it output. Okay, then. <clears throat> So okay now, then. So this is department subtotal. This is 20th department subtotal. This is 30th department subtotal. What is this is? This is grand total. Grand total. Then what is this is? This is what? Department subtotal. 10th department subtotal. This is 20th department subtotal. And this is 30th department subtotal. That's it. So this is giving extra information. Yes or no? Okay, now then. Actually, what is it? Group by is mainly used for analysis, data analysis. Group by output is mainly used for data analysis. If you show the subtotals and grand total, so then it improves what? Okay, now analyzing becomes what? Easy. Okay. Otherwise, what he has to do? He has to take a calculator. He has to add the values. In stuff like that, then you show the subtotals and grand total. Then it becomes easy for the end user to analyze. Okay. So that's all. This is roll up is okay now. Then <clears throat> so it's giving some extra what information that is what subtotals and grand total. Next one. Cube. Cube also same, but there is a small difference between roll up and cube. You tell me the difference. You see the output and tell me the difference between roll up and cube. Okay, then <clears throat> now let me run this query with what Q instead of roll up. I'm using Q. Uh, now run this, see the output. What is 6900? Analyst subtotal 47505. Five. Clerk subtotal 
manager subtotal president salesman what is 33411 grand total this is department subtotal this is department subtotal this is like okay na 30th department subtotal here actually grouping based on order by department member comma what's that job wise ascending also sorting sorting first department within the department sorting is based on job okay then let me run this then 33411 what is this is grand total job sub total next one department sub total next one 20th 30th sub total understood sir okay na yeah clear now <clears throat> Uh, now tell me what the difference small difference is there what is the difference huh what it is showing it is showing department wise and also job wise roll up is showing only department wise but cube is displaying department wise and also job wise so How you define roll up? Roll up displays subtotals for each group. For each group, tenth department is one group, twenty is one group, thirty is one. But cube displays subtotals for each group by column. Cube displays subtotals for each group by column. What are the group by columns? Department number is one group by column. Job is one group by column. Then it. display the subtotals for department wise and also job wise so like listen the definition and you okay, can find the difference roll up displays subtotals for each group cube displays subtotals for each group by column roll up for each group cube for each group by column for each group means Department is tenth department is one group, twentieth is one group, thirtieth is one group. For each group, it displays subtotals. But cube displays subtotals for each group by column. Department number is one group by column. Job is one group by column. Then it displays subtotals department wise and also job wise. Understood? Then now let me like give the definition. cube displays subtotals for each group by column in our example what are the group by columns department number is one group by column job is one group by column and also displays what and also displays what sir grand total <coughs>
okay na now <clears throat> then so this is the output uh, this is the output because if you go through this notes you'll understand uh, the difference then okay what is this is this is what grand total what is this is job sub total this is also all these are job sub totals okay then what is this is this is what department sub total this also departments of total like this okay this is also what <clears throat> this one this is departments of total this is also departments of total that's it. so it is showing department wise plus job wise of totals so if you want both wise then use q only department wise he wants up totals then roll up <clears throat> okay now Okay, now then. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, like you, you, you tell me this. Then you write this same uh, table. I take in this table. What the table is? Like persons table. Ah. Uh, uh, then this one. This is the table. Persons table. Now. let's take this example you you write this then but what i want is from this table display display state wise and within state gender wise population okay na state wise within state gender wise population and also display state wise sub totals display state wise within state gender wise population and also display state wise sub totals understood state wise within state gender wise but and also display state wise sub totals Hmm. Ah, tell me, sir, what? <clears throat> department wise, within department, job wise, total salary. 
then when you can able to write that then you know that you see the one example based on that example you have to write another one that's all nothing uh, what tell me what is this select state comma gender population means count star ah then from persons next group by group by listen read it read it and understand is asking state wise subtotals state wise subtotals you want subtotals only state wise then roll up if you ask state wise gender wise subtotals then q sir that's all bas here what is cube is giving both it is giving subtotals department wise and also job wise you want subtotals both columns wise then q but is not asking only state wise is asking only state wise but is not asking gender wise subtotals then roll up you have to use roll up roll up then what state comma what's it gender order by one assigned <clears throat> that's all this is one <clears throat> Sir, okay, na? Ah, tell me how the out, how the output, what in output, how it will show the output. Null. Next one. Null. Next one. Total. Grand total. Grand total is one thirty crores. Then it will show one thirty crores. Okay, na? Then grand total. This is grand total. Next one. AP. Next. What's it? AP. AP. Then ah, uh, AP state. Next one, male population. How much? AP state. Next one, female population. It will show male population is how much. Female population is how much. Next, it will show AP null. It will show what's it? Subtotal. AP is completed. Next, it go to next state. AR. AR what male population how much? AR state what female population how much? AR state what sir null total population in AR state. That's it. Sir, okay. We'll get the output like this. This is what? What is this is? Grand total. What is this is? Subtotal. AP subtotal. This is what AR subtotal. Okay. <clears throat> then, if I ask state-wise and gender-wise subtotals, then Q. If I ask state wise and gender wise subtotals, then you have to use Q. You have to use Q. Got it? Then that's all. What is this is? This is what? Roll up and what's that? Q. Roll up and Q. Sir, okay? Then. <clears throat>
next <clears throat> so but like you see this in this output it is showing like this what it is showing 33411 but how end user will understand that this 33411 is grand total have you mentioned anywhere no you are showing null 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 then then they don't understand what is this 33411 is so you mention if you mention they'll understand 33411 is what grand total and this is what job sub total this is what department sub total this is department sub total this is department sub total if you mention like this then they will understand yes or no sir everything in the output everything you have to mention if you mention they will understand if you don't mention they don't understand because end users are not what sir end users are not technical end users are what non technical everything you have to mention everything you have to mention in the output if you mention they will understand so in this output i want to show this is grand total this is job sub total this is department sub total i want to mention for this sql server is given a function what the function is grouping id sql server is given a function that function is what grouping id grouping id okay then next what are grouping ids what is grouping id okay then so and grouping id function this function accepts group by columns and returns this function accepts group by columns and returns the subtotal belongs to which group by column this function accepts group by columns and return subtotal belongs to which group by column this takes group by columns and return subtotal belongs to which group by column okay then so in our example what are the group by columns ha huh? in our example what are the group by columns department number is one group by column job is one group by column in our example so it takes group by columns grouping id function takes what group by columns and what it returns what it returns it return this subtotal belongs to which group by column what is grouping id returns 0 1 2 sorry sorry <clears throat> grouping id function it returns what sir 1 2 3 1 2 3 means what one means the subtotal belongs to first group by column what is the first group by column what is the first group by column department number next one two means subtotal belongs to second group by column based on second column in the group by okay now what is the second group by column job then next one three three means grand total so like first group by column that is department number second group by column that is job <clears throat> okay then
So subtotal belongs to first group by column. Subtotal belongs to second group by column. Third means grand total. Okay. <clears throat> Clear? No. <clears throat> so let, let's see this. Let's write the query. Then. <clears throat> ah, now, in this output, I want to see the subtotals belongs to what? I want to see the grouping ID. Okay, na? Ah, where you write the grouping ID? Where you call this grouping ID function? Huh? Grouping ID function bus. I'm asking where you call it. Grouping ID return something. I want to see that in the output. Grouping ID return something. You want to see that in the output. If you want to see something in the output, where you have to call it. What bus? Grouping ID gives something now. Nah? I want to see that. I want to see that in the output. If you want to see that in the output, where you have to call? You have to call that in the select. Something you want to see, then call it in select. Group by is not displaying. Group by is what? Grouping. It is grouping. Finally, what is displayed? Whatever you select. Whatever you select, whatever you write it here, that is displayed. If you write, if you select department number, then it will show department number. It is not showing the job. Why? It is not showing the job. Why? Because you are not selecting. You are not selecting. You are not selecting the job. Once again, I, I'll write uh, like I'm selecting only department number comma job. It's not showing total salary. Why? You are not selecting. If you want to see, write it in select. If you write it in select, it will show. If you don't write it in select, it will not show. Uh, what do you want to see? I want to see grouping ID. Um, then grouping ID. Call this function. Grouping ID. What do you have to pass? What I said. Grouping ID function accepts what? Group by columns. In our example, what are the group by columns? Department number and job. So then grouping ID function accepts group by columns and returns what subtotal belongs to which group by column. What is grouping ID returns? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see. This is just give some heading. What is that is? Subtotals. Then three. What is three means? What is three means? Grand total. Three means grand total. Two. Subtotal belongs to second group by column. What is the second group by column? Job. One. One means subtotal belongs to first group by column. What is the first group by column? Department number. Three means grand total. Two means subtotal belongs to second group by column. Job. One means subtotal belongs to first group by column. That is department number. That means using this grouping ID, we can find the subtotal is which column? Yes or no? Whether it is department subtotal, job subtotal, or it is grand total. Grouping ID return value 3 means grand total. Grouping ID return value 1 means department subtotal. Grouping ID return value 2 means job subtotal. Yes or no? Okay. Ah, then, now, this is the output. But actually, sir, like why we are using grouping id why we are using this grouping id to to show the user yes or no but if you show one two three is user will understand again same problem you are not clearing the doubt you are confusing the user yes or no instead of showing like uh, users they don't understand codes 
they like to see the text they don't like to see the quotes they like to see what's it 